Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, officially my favorite horror game of all time. Resident Evil 7 is a first person survival horror game where you play as Ethan, a character who gets a video from his wife who is kidnapped while babysitting. This leads him to an old house out in the bayou of Louisiana. As you explore this house and find its hidden passageways, you learn you aren't alone here. Tons of missing person cases around this time, but maybe this is just a coincidence. There's a crazy family, and you spend the game dealing with this family and trying to rescue and escape with your wife. This is hands down the most terrifying video game I've ever played, and I don't scare easy. Usually games only get me with cheap jump scares. I didn't expect more than that. Again, I'm no PewDiePie. But here I was genuinely terrified to progress during the first half of the game. The characters and setting are so eerie. You feel vulnerable throughout the initial hide and seek game style as you search for the keys and other items to solve a simple puzzle and move on. Even during moments of backtracking, it never gets easier. Each location feels just as terrifying as before. And you're not even defenseless. You have a knife. You can pick up guns and other items to craft health packs and better ammo. But even with all this, you can't help but feel like your life is on the line around every corner. Where the game starts to fall apart is when they introduce the mud slash mold type enemies that come out of the walls. They're definitely terrifying at first, but only because they're new. But they're so overused that they quickly become an eye roll rather than a scare. They eventually pose no threat. The game would have greatly benefited from sticking to the style of focusing on one unique character per section of the game like the first half, instead of throwing in these generic monsters around every corner to deal with. They broke the experience immersion for me and reminded me this was a video game. And the game's reliance on these enemies is worse as it goes on, that by the time I was in the final 3 hour stretch of the 7 and a half hour game, I was running through them and the rest of the game like it was nothing. Thankfully the final 20 minutes or so bring the game back to what it does best, but these putty creatures plucked from the Power Rangers are a joke. Their slight hiccup in the overall fantastically horrifying experience that is Resident Evil 7 though. The game is so clever with its puzzles, even doing subtle things like putting solutions or important item locations in these VHS tapes where you play as other characters. These VHS tapes are just as terrifying as the main game if not more at times. And you never feel stuck. Again, I beat the game in 7.5 hours and I was very thorough. The game does a great job of breadcrumb trailing you to the right items you need. Resident Evil 7 is also compatible with PlayStation VR, which I'm sure makes this game even more terrifying. Unfortunately, this does get in the way of the game itself for those of us not using VR, as there's this weird directional audio thing going on where you have to look at a character to really hear what they're saying. This isn't how real life works and it's annoying. So for better or for worse, this game was definitely developed with VR in mind. It wasn't an afterthought or an added gimmick. Resident Evil 7 stumbles at times stopping it from being crowned as a true masterpiece, but I can't overlook the moments that bring it so close to that status. I can't look over the fact that I'm one of the most unfazed by horror people I know, and this game got to me. This is hands down the best horror game I've ever played. I give Resident Evil 7 Biohazard a 9.5 out of 10. If you played Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you liked the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And thanks for watching. She loves you. She wants us to be a family, goddammit. Stay right there, you little bitch! This review was made possible with Gamefly. If you want to try this game or any other game imaginable, you can do so for free for an entire month by using the link in the description. Free shipping, no late fees. Thanks for watching.